Distillation is a method for separating a mixture of two liquids with different boiling points. Isopropyl alcohol has a boiling point of 83 degrees Celsius. Here we add 10 milliliters to a flask. We're going to mix the alcohol with 10 milliliters of water, which has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. The two liquids are now mixed together in the flask, and we're going to use distillation to separate them. For distillation, we need to heat the flask. So here you can see it submerged in a hot water bath. We've also added something called a boiling stone to the flask. This small stone gives bubbles a place to form when the mixture is heated. The rest of the distillation setup is shown here. The long glass tube running down from the flask is called a condenser. This is where gas, or vapor, will cool down and condense back into a liquid. The flowing water that you see wraps around the glass condenser to help cool the vapors. As the mixture heats up, vapors start to form, so we stopper the flask to trap them in and force them in, into the condenser on the side. Once the mixture reaches 83 degrees, bubbles of alcohol vapor start to form on the boiling stone. We know these bubbles are alcohol vapors because alcohol has a lower boiling point than water. Also, at the end of the condenser, drops of liquid start to run out. This liquid is the alcohol that boiled in the flask, only now it has cooled back down below 83 degrees and changed back into a liquid. The alcohol steadily boils and condenses until no more is left in the mixture and drops no longer fall from the condenser. We've collected about 10 milliliters of liquid alcohol while the water remains in the flask. The mixture of liquids has been separated.